probably one of the most lucrative discussions that get brought up often. Because for decades and for generations, we, we always end up finding ourselves in the same conversation over and over and over again. It's gotten so, you know, economically um, unique and exclusive that if you click on YouTube and you type in a certain name or you, you know, troll or scroll down the timeline, you're going to see something regarding red pill content. You're going to see something in response to the news or you're going to see something in response to drama. There's always going to be something in response to something going on with a celebrity. But what, I, what I've noticed with social media in the first place is that if you have any and you use it frequently, then you know that um, the algorithm kind of selects you based on your, you know, your likes, the things that you're entertained by. It kind of goes off of that. And it feeds your timeline with suggestions of things that you might be drawn to. But let's go ahead and, and get into this. Because um, this isn't necessarily about John Hill directly, but it's about him. So I was watching this video today. And in the video, the title said, Jonah Hill breaks up with quote-unquote ex-girlfriend after setting boundaries. And in the video, the young lady who is doing the die agnostic replay. She is reading intimate conversations that the ex girlfriend decided to share with the internet. The text messages and the relationship to give you context between Jonah Hill and the ex-girlfriend date two years ago. So they've been broken up for two years just to help you understand. But recently the young lady decided that she would post those intimate conversations on TikTok for the world. And in the text messages, she expresses her displeasure and her trauma, her restless nights her mental anguish, her distress. She goes into full detail as to how hard it was for her to recoup and recover from the horrible and tragic loss. Painting the picture that he was a diabolical, monstrous tyrant of a significant other who kept her caged. And because of his 
neediness because of his insecurity, because he was afraid of letting her be free, he decided to end the relationship. That was her side of the story. However, as the lady is reading these private text messages, which I'm going to get, go into that in a second, as she's reading these text messages, if you read with her and if you break down the conversation between both of them, Jonah Hill is very eloquent. He's very open, honest, transparent. There's no sense or presence of ill intent or manipulation within his context or his message as he's having this interaction between he and her. He goes on to say towards her a number of things which has a set list. In the list he breaks down his boundaries. He goes over all of them. After, you know, she goes on his rant. Yeah, and no one tries to assassinate his character. There's a list. In the list, she describes what he will accept and what he won't accept. Respectfully tells her, hey, if you can't honor this, If this is the road that you decide to take, you're free to do it. I will not be the one who restrains you from living the life the way you want to live. If you want to be with this set of group of men, or you want to have these type of people around you, if this is how you're going to display yourself in the public eye, and this is how you're going to conduct yourself, go ahead. Be free. Do, what it is. Do whatever it is you decide is best for you. But what is going to happen as a result of your decisions and your actions is going to be my exit. I will not compromise my principles or my morals. I will not be disrespected. I Amicably, amic amicably, 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 amicably part ways, we can still be cool, but we cannot be in a relationship any longer. I'm going to have to let you go. And this is why I bring this up. Because if you read the messages yourself between both and you heard her argument and you read and broke down exactly what he was saying to her, then you would t you could tell that the line of communication was broke off the bat. You could tell that this, there was a, uh, a separation there already that it was never a balance, that that relationship had holes in it. 
from Trump. And it just got to the point of where he said, I can't do it. What I love about this particular story is that a lot of women, you know, conduct and carry themselves this exact same way. They say men don't listen. They use ad hominems. They manipulate the conversation. They throw in extra things that have nothing to do with the argument to throw you off. They try to shame you. They say men don't listen. But at the other side of the spectrum, when you really do your own analysis and break down the, the conversation in its entirety, I mean, really look at word for word what is being said between both of them. You will, you will see that this is a typical tactic that women always use in, in certain situations to either get their way or to test the person that they are with to see how far they can take it in the friendship or the relationship. You got one woman where she's basically saying this man is probably one of the worst people I've ever been involved with. He was controlling. He was A, B, C, and D. I was unhappy. I did everything in the world for him. They paint this narrative as if they were just completely innocent. They try to make it look as if you just completely destroyed them and you, you uprooted their life and all of these different things. But then, a lot of times what happens is you don't get the, the full story. You only hear her side of the story in, in, in any situation. But when you actually have the opportunity to hear the man's side of the story, and, you know, you kind of have to look at the pros and cons are really dissected for yourself, then you kind of understand and see she was trying to be manipulative, controlling. She was trying to change who he was. She was trying to control the relationship. She was trying to do things and get away with things that a single person would. You're dating someone. You let's 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 get out of our, our, our mind that he's a, a, a actor and he's famous. We're talking about a man and woman. There's supposed to be a certain level of respect for your partner. But what I what I'm noticing is just like in this in this situation, she took his words and and t interpreted it as something evil, something diabolical. But when you read it for yourself, it's like oh, he's just he's just saying, "Hey, do what you want to do, but you're not going to do that shit to me." Let some let somebody else take take that role. I don't want that help. I don't want you humiliating me in public. I don't want to hear about you being touchy and doing all these different things with different men, flirting and all. I don't want that. I, I, I deserve better than that. I deserve someone who's going to show me respect in and outside of the public eye. He had boundaries. He has principles. He put everything there on display. But in her mind, see, she's trying to make it look as if he's toxic, as if he's wrong for wanting things to go a certain way for his life. 
And because it's not going in the way that she wants it to go, she's trying to demonize him. But he's very respectful. You know? He broke it down to her as simple as possible. Men use logic. Women run off emotion. So she's probably bitter and, and upset and salty because she couldn't run over him. He wasn't going to be a simple. Let her do whatever the hell she wanted. And I'm not, I'm not knocking any, anyone who wants to live like that. If you want to be for the street or if you want to present yourself as if you're constantly available and ready at any given moment, if you want to put yourself out there like that and you don't think there's anything wrong with how you turn, align yourself with others that believe in the same things you do. I said this in the live that I did the other day. Don't bring other people into your bullshit. Well, he, he handled that pretty well. On top of that, we're we talking about two years. They've been broke up for two years. Why are you bringing this to the internet now? Why? So, let's just let's, 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 let's break this down. And there's a lot of a lot of theories behind it. A lot of the lady who's doing the, the interview, or should I say live, her speculation is that it's because Kiki Palmer just had this whole situation with her her child's father. Why she got big grind on the usher. So that's jumping off on every platform. Anywhere you go, you even got people on Twitter right now talking about will your um will your relationship survive the usher challenge? They really turned it into a game. Like it's fun or funny or exciting or it's supposed to be entertaining. They turned it into a, into a game. game. You got you to got a point to where, where will your relationship survive, survive the Usher Challenge? challenge. So, <laughs> you telling, telling me, me that you will put yourself, that you will put yourself in a situation to possibly cheat from your spouse or humiliate them all for the, the idea of being in the presence of someone that you're never going to see again. It, be, it baffles me. Let's, let's, let's say for example, the roles were reversed, and the guy went to the concert, or the guy who had all of these women in his DMs, or Beyonce grinding on him, Sierra danced on him, popped out the titties and all that shit in front of him. Let's, 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 let's reverse the roles. The internet will be on fire. Cancel his ass. He ain't no good. He was never deserving of you in the first place. He's a piece of shit. He's trash. All men are trash. Girl, I, I already knew that was gonna happen. You can't, you, you can't trust no man. You can't this. You can't that. That's why I don't deal with. It. That's why I don't. That's the whole world will be on fire. They will harass your page. They will harass your comment section. They will try to get you up out of it. Let you, let you be in the, the situation that Kiki Palmer was in. Or let you 
be in Jonah Hill's ex-girlfriend's position. Right now, they are probably defending her. I have not even seen any of the comments. But I'm pretty sure, and I'm certain to a million percent, that they are waving the white flag. Oh, John Hill is just another one of them typical, typical men who just trying to control us. He don't want us to be free. He don't want us to do or have a outlet to express ourselves. He's an insecure nigga. He's an insecure man. That's all it is. He's insecure. He don't, he don't trust you. He don't trust you because he has mommy issues. Because something happened to him as a kid. Because someone broke his heart. Because someone lied to him and did him wrong. Because he's not as attractive as the other person is. So he's jealous. He's jealous. He's jealous. He's jealous. He's jealous. He's jealous. That's their, that's their go-to. Anytime a, a, a guy sets boundaries and standards and they tell you, look, do whatever it is you want to do. Be wherever you want to be. For whoever you want to be for. Don't do it here. It's a problem. Sound their alarms. He ain't fool you anyway. That's why I ain't this. That's why I ain't that. Because it's their way of. Let me let me put you on real quick. When a woman has boundaries and standards and things of that nature, it's it's supposed to be law. It's supposed to be the all. In all. If you don't abide by her rules and her standards, if you don't adjust or make a customs or adjustment to how she wants to move and operate within the relationship and her life, you are going to be prosecuted, executed, diluted. You're going to be disposed of. You're going to be removed from the picture. You're going to be on the wanted list. Because what they want is control. They want to be able to do what they want and still get all of the benefits out of you while getting everything that they want. And if you really want to break down the story yourself and see the, 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 the conversation for yourself, go do, do, do the research. Check it out for yourself. I'm not, I, I can't make this up. Rest in peace, the uh, Kevin Savage. I can't make this shit up. She took his dialogue. She took his standards and boundaries. And she flipped it and manipulated it like a lot of females do. Flip everything you say to benefit them. Avoiding the entire conversation. Ducking accountability. Did you do what he said you was doing? Did you violate any of his rules, any of his standards? Did you disrespect anything that he listed here? Did you do anything to hurt or harm the relationship in any way? They don't want to accept or deal with it. They don't even want to acknowledge it. So what they'll do, they'll take that argument They'll go to this area or the other one, and they'll probably bring up something that has nothing to do with what you're coming to them about. Why was it even made public in the first place? This is a two-year-old conversation.
Now, in response to your, your, your comment, bro, like I, like I said, it, maybe it's just my opinion, but from what I've noticed, depending on the person, they will gauge a couple of things. They will rate you on personality, stoicism, mental conditioning, wealth, There's key traits that a woman observes in the person that she decides to engage. And what happens is, based on the person and what they provide, they will then proceed to execute certain tactics to test them, to decide where you fit within their future, within their life. They map everything out based on who you are. And then they put you in a certain box and then they start covertly maneuvering, doing things in small nuances, thinking that men, you know, don't catch on to the subtle changes, the, the subtle words, the little things that they try to slip in their here and there with what they think we can tolerate and can't tolerate. I don't really believe a lot of women want to be controlled in 2023. In this case, I don't think she wanted to be controlled. I think she I think she assumed that Jonah Hill was salt and that he couldn't conduct or handle himself and that he was just going to bow down to her and kiss her ass and he didn't do it. He told her what it was going to be. She didn't want to adhere to it and he stepped off. And maybe she's, you know, salty because she's not dating that caliber of man anymore. Or she's not relevant as she was when she was still with him. So now she's trying to use the Kiki situation. She's trying to use certain little manipulative ways to get back into the the, 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 the line by using this as to get people to talk about her. The more people talk about her, the more attention is on her, which will probably give her opportunities to do more things with her career and with her personal life. Now, I, I don't really think she even cares too much about whether or not he responded or had any feelings towards her at all. I don't even think she cared about them being friends or anything at this point. That is a two year old conversation. You bringing it up now. You have other motives. And it's deeper than you being hurt. Two years you're, you're hurt by the, the breakup. Now you're coming out with it. Now you want to do all of this banter. All this back and forth. Now you 
Come on. That's and that's, 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 that's the thing about, about situations situation like this. They, they think that they men are men stupid are and slow and that we don't, we don't notice, notice what they're, what they're doing, doing and how they're, how they're moving. moving. And that's why that's they why get they categ categorized in certain areas and cer in certain places because we look at you, we pay attention, we... You know, it's not something that we just wake up overnight and think, oh, you trust like this. I'm already going to automatically going to assume this. You present yourself a certain way, that's how you're going to get looked at. But I love what you said because these women are doing this every day. They, they, they desire, desire. They, want they want Pop, Pop Kent, Kent. But, but they want they future behavior. behavior. They want, they want, want Pop, Pop Kent, Kent to secretly be future. They, they want they him want to be everything. everything. And anything that they can possibly be satisfied with. And at the end of the day, they're still never going to be fully satisfied. Not a lot of them. And that's because their whole mind is twisted into believing in something that doesn't exist. What's your What's real, your real angle here? Hmm? Former ex. Why, two years later, did you decide to do this openly on TikTok? Now, now I, 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 look at, I look at the text messages and the conversation, and I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I see what's going on here. You flirt, but you're trying to get sympathy. Anyone with common sense who sees that is going to see you, too. As far as I know, Jonah Hill is doing all right right now. This shit this is going on for another month. Another couple of weeks. You know how it goes. Whatever's trending, people will eat it up. And eat it up until there's nothing left from it. They're going to milk this shit until there's nothing left to milk out of it. You know why? Because this war between the good guy and the Tyrone and the war between man and the woman is always going to collide. It's always going to be a story. It's always going to be a back and forth. It's always going to be a who's right and who's wrong. And no one's willing to just understand and come to the point of where we got we got to come to some conclusion with you, because everybody has to be held accountable to some degree when it comes to who they decide to lay down with, and who they choose to mate with, and who they choose to be friends. Exactly, exactly, bro. Exactly. exactly. You go so, into any, any establishment. establishment. This, this is how you know it's real shit. shit. You go into so, any, any establishment. establishment. Just, just as a as customer, a just as a new employee, just, just doing, doing your daily routine, routine. you go into a specific location or business. There are people generally 
somewhere shopping and doing whatever. You scan the room. Why do you scan the room? Because you want to know your surroundings. Because you want to know who's in your proximity. Because you want to know if there's danger or if there's any signs of good energy. Whatever the case may be, automatically when you go anywhere, you're scanning, you're observing. That's just built in us to do it. A woman is the same way. She does the same things. But with, with, but with them, they will literally be a how can I say this? They're actually they have a certain type of x-ray that goes beneath the skin. You know, x-rays, you know, go and they, they seize the bones and they, they seize all of your, your inner tissues and if you have cancers and any, you know, malignant formations within your body. They have a certain type of uh, x-ray that observes the person that, you know, is trying to cook them. Or maybe not even cook them. Just somebody passing by. They, they dig deep. They look beyond certain things. And then they move accordingly to what they see. They know off the bat what, what they're going to do, what they're not going to do. All that he don't speak his emotions, or he don't express himself, this, that, and the third is bull. They don't really care at all about what a guy feels or what they, they think or what they go through on a regular basis. All they care about are the results and how they can benefit from the results. Now, there's a small select few, you know, that still hold on to traditions. Shout out to y'all. But it's not a lot of them. And I'm not referring to you. I'm referring to the ones who are out here trying to, you know, finesse. And continue to finesse and get away with it. Because a lot of us don't know our value and our work. And because you don't know your value and your worth, they and other people are able to control your life in ways that you would never be happy or satisfied with. Because you gave in to the temptation of what they represent physically. You're not looking at their attributes, you're not looking at their attitudes or their behavior patterns or their beliefs or morals. So you fall prey to it. And because you're not strong enough up here to move the way that you need to move for your purpose, they lead you. You're not leading them. She tried to lead Jonah Hill. She tried to control Jonah Hill's every movement. She wanted him to be okay with her way of living. Whether or not you believe the way she decided to move and operate within her personal life is for you or not, he wasn't with her. So I'm not, I'm not mad at him at all. I think she's childish and very foolish. And you, you really think about it. Anyone over the age of 18 that's still, you know, moving like that, there's something seriously wrong with you. Why are you... I don't know. I don't know. 
just my spot for the whole situation. When I when I see stories like this, first of all, from Johnny Hood, I thought, for one, I didn't even know he had a, he had a girlfriend at all. I mean, he's a celebrity. I know he probably have sex with a lot of different people, but I didn't know he was dating anybody. When I looked at her, yeah, not really particularly my cup of tea, but.